of the 80s kind of reboots here because RoboCop. Tell me about RoboCop. What's RoboCop. So we got an update script, from right? the script is almost finished. Neil Blomkamp has taken to Twitter and given an update. And he also revealed that it's he said it's like Paul Verhoeven coming back and directing the second movie. That. That's what he's, he's, he's having a good that. time. And that. The suit is not going to be upgraded. It's not. It's going to be the suit. original Great. clunky Great. suit coming back, so you get that look, <laughs> almost like it feels like he's like RoboCop hasn't stopped patrolling for like however many years. Ooh, and here good. he is. See, listen, man, this is a great tweet. The script is being written, going well, and imagine watching Verhoeven do a follow-up film. I mean, that to me, that, that's that's great. And you, because you're basically doing what he was going to do with Aliens, right? Because it was supposed to be Aliens, and then and shit. And shit, and then it was going to be Bloom Camp's version right after that, right? Because they were going to get rid of Alien Three, uh, and and so it looks and like, Alien Four. It looks like they're getting rid of RoboCop Two and Three, and it's yep. just going to continue right on from RoboCop One, which and what Halloween just did, mm -hmm. right? So but they kept one and two. They kept one. No, no, it was just one. Yeah, really? just yeah, one. It was just one, and then it, and then the, there was a rumor at first it was going to be one and two, oh. but then yeah. they changed that. Yeah, because I think in the they, second one it's revealed that they're brothers. They're brothers. Yeah, yeah. That's they not got that was the that. second one. Yeah, yep. it was the second one. Oh, so it's, as a reason count. why Michael is going after yeah, Laurie yeah, Strode, yeah. she's not. She's not his. I sister. honestly can't remember which was which. Right, but now you only have to remember. Now you only have to remember two. Now, if you want to follow that canon, but this canon, you're going to have. And now, who's going to play Robocop? Did they announce that yet? No. I had that. We were t with Devin, John actually. Cena. We were talking about that. <laughs> John, John Cena. Like, that could they bring back, bring back Peter Weller just because it's this and it's a stunt guy and they can use some effects? Are they going to do a, a another actor? Who, who's your dream casting? I'd want to bring back Carl Peter Urban. Weller. I wouldn't. He's too, he's, Denzel Washington. <laughs> yeah. Denzel, maybe his voice maybe and his some, yeah, some mo-cap or something. Yeah, he's just too tricky then. I, the, pro the problem with Peter Weller is even when I, when I had the pleasure of talking with um, with Clarence Boddicker himself. Oh, yeah. Um, when, when we talked, he told me that Peter Weller had – he was like 30, in his 30s. And yeah. it, was, it was exhausting being in that thing. Yeah. He's got to be 64 years old. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now, you don't put him in the suit. Right. Um, you know, and I don't want Work. face. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. I just just put somebody else in. The Henry suit. Cavill would have a good too Robocop big. face. Oh, you think too big? He's too big. Like the, 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 I thought, what would made Robocop so special was that he was just an, like an average dude and who was put into this machine. Like you were, Matt Bomer. Matt Bomer would be everyone pitched Matt, Matt Bomer for everything. For everything. Yeah, but he, but, but he would be all right. He would be okay. He's so good. I'll tell you who I would love in it. Marsden. And this is the one I always throw out there too. Fastbender would be great. Yeah. Oh, that's a great call. Fastbender. Yeah. Who great. is the female version of Fastbender or Matt Bomer? Jessica like the name Chastain. that always gets thrown out for everything. Kate Blanchett, Jessica Chastain. Chastain. No, those are too one. big. Yeah. Um, oh, you mean Alicia Vikander? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good mm -hmm. one. I brought it up. Yeah, Alicia yeah. Yeah, Vikander. She's what is she? She was having that run where she was in everything. Jennifer Lawrence. She was. Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. I was going to bring her. She's big, too big, yeah. right? Um, but Alicia Vikander is she's she's, she's Jessica Biel never gets put in anything. I'd like to see her in more stuff. She Except the last so, thing you saw her in. Sinner. Sinner. She was oh, so good in that movie. Who was in uh, the show, show that you hate? That you and Thad hate watched. Both of you guys? Oh, uh, Kate Beckinsale. Oh, oh Kate yeah, Beckinsale. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the hottest woman on the planet in the most ridiculous show of all time. <laughs> I was still dating Pete uh, Davidson. And I haven't seen anything in a while. Must Google right I don't know. Now. Should I text him? Yeah, yeah text, text Pete, text Pete Davidson. Hey, Pete, if you're watching, could no, you call in? Riley, no text chance. her. I feel like she'll give a more honest yeah. answer about this Okay, one. hold on. Let me yeah. Thanks, cool. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I can't imagine those two are still together. Why not? They split. Yeah, look at that. And then what was that? That was April. They broke up in April. <laughs> that was a quick. Do you guys think it's easier romance. or harder to date as a celebrity? Harder. Depends. Depends on what. Well, it depends. It depends on what kind of uh, what kind of spotlight. You know, when it comes yeah. to like these two, or, or uh, that was a, that was a publicity stunt. Sure. Um, what, that that's, that's only gonna last for, for that long. But uh, you know, there are other people who've done well, it. Pete Davidson and Kate Beckinsale split after nearly four months. Yeah, you know, four months isn't. I mean, I guess maybe in in celebrity, celebrity terms, it's a long time. Yeah, but yeah, that's a full marriage in yeah. celebrity terms. Four months. I feel like you you actually dated somebody. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you four months. Right? I think like four. I wouldn't say like it was the love of your life, but like, oh, did yeah. you date him? Yeah. Yeah, four months before me, oh, it was like the longest relationship I had. Two and a half. There it is. In there too. Yeah. No, include two. Two, Dude, months. if I was dating your for two months, that's, seeing, that's, I mean, that's exclusive. If you're seeing them, it depends, though. It depends on how often you see that person. If you're yeah. if you're dating someone for like two months and you see him like twice, what yeah. about once a week? Yeah. Uh, Maybe, but like, I mean, for example, I've dated I dated someone for like two, uh, a little over two months, but I saw the person every day for like two months, and then it was like, no, we're done. Um, but did you poop in the public? Yeah, <laughs> poop in the public. Poop in the public. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 
I love it. It's really good. Anyway, so, so good. RoboCop. Are we excited about this movie? Hell yes. I'm very excited. I haven't watched RoboCop since the first one, and I probably am not going to get excited for another one. I think. Wait Bloom, a minute. You're, you're, are you a fan of the original? Yeah, sure. Uh, not really. Nah, that's not. I a think Bloom yeah. Camp. I think Bloom Camp right. needs. He needs a hit. This is a yeah. good. The reason why I'm excited for him doing this is because he was a guy that I want to see him do another project that is not one of his own. Because I think he was getting too. Chippy. Caught, but he was he was getting too caught up in his like. I get having a message film. I get it. a lot. Of, that's why a lot of these guys want to and, and women want to do these movies to make sure that they have they can have a narrative, have their voice. But District Nine, I thought, was a perfect blend yeah. of telling a story, having a message, Ugh. and putting it together. District right? Nine is one of the most. I I love District Nine. District great. Nine is it's is great. so good. Yeah, and I Elysium. Loved Elysium. I so, loved it. But District is that Nine, the Will Smith me? one? No, no it's, it's Matt, Damon. Uh, Matt Damon. Oh, Matt Damon. I feel I like you're pronouncing it strange. Elysium. 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 Either way. I don't know. District Elysium. District Nine. Y'all knew. Yeah, District Nine, Nine was was fi- like to me it was fifty fifty message, fifty fifty movie in a story, right? Mm-hmm. Elysium was about. 60 40 mm-hmm. message okay. message right. heavier yeah. i didn't love i didn't love elysium as much as like you and ellis did right yeah uh, something about you guys continue to say that word is like f- like flipping well, don't worry we're, we're, we're changing it now because now chappy because chappy okay. stinks yeah chappy was nah. chappy. i didn't see chappy, chappy stinks now chappy wasn't blum camp using his twitter again i don't know if you can find it there but he put a poll out district 10 or robocop 2 or something like that and what and, would we want yeah, what would people want? Well, I mean, that, that's, yeah, how, how, oh, you mean his RoboCop he, too? He, yeah, his own stuff. I think I, you know, it's funny. But I that's love a, District Nine. I would take RoboCop. I, I think his, I think his version of RoboCop is going to be really cool. Because, yeah, and it's going off my point. I want to see him do something like off of an IP that is already there, but take his spin on it. Mm. Because do you think it's okay for creators to make decisions that way? What do you mean? How so? Taking a poll? Yeah. Oh, why not? Well, he wants to talk to his audience. That's fair. Yeah, that's if, if, if he. Test the temperature. Yeah. I see where you're going with that question, but I, I, I dangerous. I, yeah, I slightly don't concerning. Mind. Yeah, I, like if I was a studio head, I'd be like, "Yo, bro, yeah. we signed you on for RoboCop, yeah, dude." Yeah. Right. Uh, right. Okay. Well, maybe he just goes in, but, but that's data, right? If he yeah. if he goes in, he says, "Listen, I did a poll of that. I don't know, you know, my the audience that follows me." 85% of them said they wanted to see uh, RoboCop. So but how, I mean, what do you think? There's how many votes on that poll? I don't know. Is there a poll? Is, we, I'm sure Is you can there. See it. Can we find it? No. You know who's going to be RoboCop? Who? Charlotte Copley. That's very possible. That's yeah. who it's going to be. You're, you're probably right. That would be you're perfect. Right. And that would be perfect. That would be okay. That's, you're probably right. And if, uh, that would be, or he'd be the villain. Chateau. Yeah. Or he'd be the villain. Because he's done a movie. What was the one he did with in the... In the 18. Uh, no, 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 no. He was. Uh, he, he did that movie in the, in the, the th- third person. Oh, uh, the uh, Hardcore Henry. Hardcore, Hardcore Henry. Henry. Never yeah. saw I dug that movie. Hey, man. Yeah. Good. What, what do you mean you did it in the How am I the 22nd the, the, the rank competitor was in, a, it was in, in that uh, style? Uh, what's How? That? How are you what? 22nd rank competitor. Yeah, he just pulled Hardcore oh, yeah. Henry out there. I know. Well, we'll see what happens. Hardcore Henry.